G'day, g'day. What we have here is every story beat you need to know before you play the Resident Evil 4 remake at the end of the month. It's been six long years since the two games I haven't covered yet took place, and we are here with Sir Alpha Leon S. <laughs> Kennedy, also from one of the games I haven't covered yet. Please see what I have covered here at the top and enjoy this video and leave a comment. So Umbrella have gone and the T-Virus has all but disappeared. Well, that's good news. Leon has joined the US government as a special agent. Now that's quite a promotion and he is best mates with the president. But I digress. The Tumblr's daughter Ashley Graham has gone missing and it's on our boy Leon's shoulders to rescue her. The last known whereabouts is in this tiny Spanish village on the outskirts of the Spanish-Mexican border, where they speak broken Mexican Spanish. As he arrives, Leon gets a call from Ingrid Hunnigan. She is much like the Colonel in Metal Gear Solid and updates Leon on his mission objectives. And he is on his way. Leon approaches the cabin, the iconic cabin, and he waltzes through the door like he owns the place and is met by a bloke quietly tending his fireplace. Leon rudely interrupts, Oi, you! <laughs> um, I don't know why that came out Scottish. Hey, buddy, um, have you seen this girl? Um, I said, have you seen this girl? This man decides enough of the questions and he swings for Leon's head with a chopper, as you would. Leon puts him down and starts his investigation. Leon has been trapped as the bridge is down and some crash lorries aren't the greatest sight in the world and the only way forward is through the village. Leon makes it to the village and sees a copper hung up. They must be bleeding the pig dry. No, that was a terrible joke. In the center of town, Leon starts shooting anything that moves and the villagers decide enough is enough. Get him! bell rings. Insert religious joke here. Oh, no, ignore that. I clearly forgot to come up with a joke, um, because I thought I might get crucified. Isn't this religious? <laughs> Moving on. The villagers the leave. Going? Bingo? Huntington tells Leon to keep going. Puzzles, traps. And he finds Ashley. You one strange looking girl. Well, no, it's a man. Sorry, my bad. Louis, but with a Spanish inflection. Louis! Leon unties Luis. No. He is not too angry, and the big cheese shows up. <laughs> Leon attacks and then blacks out after being tossed around like a used condom. Leon wakes up to hearing chanting like he's never heard before. A cult leader of some sort is in front of him. He tells Leon, we are the same, you and I, and ejects him with a little bitty ball of something. Leon again wakes up. <gasps> Must have been a hallucination. So now Louis is trapped with Leon. They chit chat and Leon asks about Ashley. And down comes an axe. They luckily edge forward and the axe lands perfectly on the rope that binded them. That was uh, mighty lucky. And Louis flees. Leon is heading back to the village and bumps into a mysterious hooded Australian merchant. Or a cockney. I, I can't put my finger on his accent, but let's go with Australian. What are you buying? No, more like, what are you selling? Hmm, no money. Keep going. Leon gets to the next important story beat, the Big Cheese's house. He shows up and can feel the virus inside of Leon. So that wasn't a hallucination. And stop meddling, you cheeky little rascal. And he's gone. Huntington time. Apparently a religious cult is involved. Really, you think? They're called the Las Illuminados. Leon keeps meddling and... <laughs> So to continue with our journey, we need to get to the church and the door is locked. But what if I need to confess my sins? I thought churches are always open to everyone. Oh well, the key's on the other side of the gigantic open-ended lake. What could possibly go wrong? Damn you! Ooh, what the hell is enough. even that? Oh, I didn't see that coming. After getting to the other side, Leon coughs up blood and keels over in a heap on the floor. We wake up six hours later. Leon gets the key and heads back to the church. But first he is trapped in a game of wits with a gigantic fuck off troll. And we have found the chosen one, Ashley motherfucking Graham. Huntington is back on the blower and we ask for a chopper to come rescue us. Job done, credits roll. Nope. Sadly, casually strolls in and bangs on about injecting Ashley and now Leon with the parasite. Uh-oh. Just, um, carry on. Carry on. Take Ashley to see her dad. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. Shh. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Um, no, no, no. You, there's, there's no hidden plot. Just, you do it. <laughs> 
the pair die hard out of the window and run! But not far because the villagers have surrounded them. So we take care of them and we find out Lewis is not who he says he is. He has stolen something and they are after him as well. Oh, and uh, he has somehow removed the parasite, so we should probably find out how he did that. Hunnigan tells Leon, Chopper 1 has gone down, but rest assured we will sacrifice as many choppers as possible to get you out of here, Leon Kennedy and daughter of the president. Ashley Graham. So in the meantime, Leon and Ashley hold up in an abandoned cabin and wait further orders. They barricade it shut and in waltzes Lewis. The battle to the death is on as here comes the villagers. They soon realize the score and Levi here is to catch up on what's happening and what their plan should be. Tell you what, I need a break. But suddenly, an eight-foot juggernaut sneaks up on Leon. I don't know how, but there you go. They set him alight, much like in Resident Evil 2 with Mr. X's trench coat, which reveals his ultimate form. Deja vu. Ooh, an eye. Next location, the castle. I might just throw this eye out, but first we raise the bridge, as this will protect us from those damn crazy ganados. Don't turn around, Leon. They get attacked by crazy mask-wearing motherfuckers, a shit blows up, and now more puzzles and traps. Leon gets lost. Maybe Hunnigan can help. She seems to know everything. But the signal is jammed. Shit. Man, I gotta get rid of Vodafone. There's black spots everywhere in this castle. Somehow Lewis gets past the raised bridge, and we bump into him a wee bit down the road. He wants to tell us how to get rid of the parasite, but just doesn't. And he realizes he dropped the piece of paper with the answer on it. Really? You don't just keep that information locked up in your mind temple? Is your brain more like a sieve? Anyway, he'll be right back. That's gonna be the last time we see him, isn't it? Oh shit, is that Hasbulla? But more affectionately known as Ramon Salazar. A midget with a big ego. Give me the girl. But you want to infect her dad, so what good is it she's staying here? I don't, I don't understand. Why are you trying to recapture her as your goal is to infect her dad? Man, you're stupid as you are tall. Anyway, carry on. As we push on through the castle since the little man left, Ashley starts coughing up blood. She does, however, run away and gets trapped. She is gone for now. Leon explores and finds gold, bullets, jewelry, and a note. A note from Lewis. He is a scientist studying the parasite. Ah, uh, this makes sense. That's how he knows the info, but raises questions why he can't just tell you and how to get rid of the parasite. The parasite has the ability to take to the the parasite has the ability to take over its host body and be controlled. That explains the villagers. I did find lots more books and shit, but it's uh, too much to go through. So uh, Salazar is the bad guy, and there is a parasite hive mind under the castle. After wandering aimlessly around the castle for countless hours. It seems the lady in red is back. Ada! Wow, this is a blast from the past. I thought you died from your 100 foot fall or being slammed into a control panel, whichever of those is canically correct. Nah, bro, I'm fine. Apparently I'm invisible. I was working with Wesker the whole time and poof, one flashbang later and she is gone. Leon bumps back into Lewis or Lewis. I prefer Lewis. Here's some important information about the parasite infection. Little did he know there was a vigilante behind him and splat. Sadler catches the sample swiftly and throws Lewis to the ground like a used franger. He gives Leon a suppressant for the parasite. This will buy you about mm, 10 minutes. You um do have to really get that sample back. Everything is staked on that one sample. I'll try. No, listen to me. You have to get that sample. Leon frees Ashley and the two get through the castle solving puzzles and avoiding traps along the way. And from out of nowhere, a flying locust thing snatches Ashley back and flies away. Man, this bitch is causing me some trouble. At least Claire took care of herself with guns and shit. Leon catches up to Ashley, who is Hasbulla's prisoner, and falls for the old stand here while I push a button on the floor and gets removed from beneath your feet. Leon throws his hook shot and saves himself. Wait, he had that the whole time? God damn it. Meanwhile, Sandler brings in a new enemy to fight, Jack Krauser. Leon's old army buddy, but with a twist. Apparently Krauser is the one who kidnapped Ashley to start this whole mess. Leon keeps fighting. We gotta speed this up, it's starting to drag on now. Back in the castle, we are staring at a gigantic statue of Salazar. God damn, I hate QTEs. Leon escapes the stone monster and finds Hasbulla. We automatically throw a knife at his hand. Stick around. Hasbulla runs in all its hilarity away and we make haste and chase. Final boss time. Thank fuck for that, this was getting old. Salazar's henchmen and a gigantic parasite walk into a bar. One gets merged, one gets shot, and the other gets rocket launched, and they all die. That was almost a setup for a joke. 
I'll have to think of a punchline for the next one. Wait, there's more? God damn it, it better not be an annoying, tedious part of the game. We meet Ada and hitch a ride to an island to where Ashley is. Great. We march through the base and get in contact with the chopper and let them know our new coordinates. And we find Ashley. That was a coincidence. Unfortunately, we bump into Sadler and since the parasite has grown inside Leon, Sadler can now torment Leon with his dominant plaga. So he does. He also uses it to get Ashley to just casually walk out the door. Leon manages to get a tracking device on her back. Yeah, because no one will see that. And why didn't you just put that on her straight away when you found her? Anywho, on the other side of the island, Jack and Ada talk shop about keeping an eye on our boy Leon. This is because Krauser is also working for Wesker. Krauser finds Leon first in a game of cat and mouse, and after a few button pushes later, Ada shoots the blade out of Krauser's hand and she flees. Leon gets picked for an American Olympic gymnastics team with that show. So dumb. And sits down to decide what he will do. Probably save Ashley. That's for the best. A bit down the road, we bump back into Krauser and kill him, even though Krauser sprouted this weird plaga arm. Finally, the rescue chopper shows up after Leon is pinned down and drops them all. I hope he doesn't get shot down like every single helicopter in the whole Resident Evil top. Oh, Ada isn't a fan of BDSM. She is more of a nut kicker type girl. Snap out of it, you douchebag. We got bigger problems to deal with. They find Sadler and Ashley, and while Ada distracts Sadler, Leon rescues Ashley for like the 20th time. They run away, find a lab. Oh, here we go. They find Lewis's note detailing how to remove the plaga. So you're telling me this is where he left the note? On a fucking island? Dickhead. A couple of spiky things later and we remove the plaga. Good times. And we find Ada strung up in rope. Nice work. We fight Sadler in his true form. Ada down, she throws us a rocket launcher, which she got from somewhere, and hooray, a boom goes Sadler. Another one. Coincidentally, all that's left is the sample of Plaga that Sadler stole from Lewis, and it's very cruel twist of fate, Ada takes it from Leon. Man, you should be used to this by now. And jumps into a waiting helicopter. Wait, wait, no, that's stupid. The self-destruct now gets flicked. Ugh. We run and find a jet ski and escape. And on the way home, Ashley offers her overtime. And Leon politely says, are you fucking kidding me? You're 15. Don't be fucking gross. <laughs> 